Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to import a, a flat file uh, that consists of some data into Excel. So you have a flat file like this. You have student ID, you have first name, and then you have last name, and they're all sub separated by tab. Uh, and this is a very common uh, delimiter or a separator for uh, typical flat files. So how do you import this into Excel? Assume I have this Excel spreadsheet like this. I have just opened a blank spreadsheet and I call it my file and uh, locate the data category and within that uh, click on the get data bar over here and go to from file and from text slash CSV. So just click on that option and uh, you need to navigate to where your file is located and let me just uh, go straight where it is. And I have this file called data, which I'm wanting to import. That's the same file as this one right here. And I click import and so you'll see an interface like this. Um, um, basically it shows you all the file, all the data um, that is located in your flat file. And if you're satisfied with this, you can just click load and you'll immediately see the file. Okay, so if that's all that you did, there is a data, but uh, it's not entirely satisfactory. As you can see, you have the column names and the column names are being treated as part of the data when in reality they should not be. So I'm going to delete this and, and delete the connection as well and begin from afresh. And this time again, I'm going to data and click on get data from file text dot text slash csv click on data again again you'll see this interface and now because we have the first row uh, containing the column names we want to transform the data so just click on this button here that says transform the data and you'll be taken to a power query editor like this and on this editor, you can say use first row as headers. Okay, so under home, use first row as headers, just click on that. And now the first row will be used as a header. And if you're satisfied with the rest of the data, you can scroll down, see this a little bit. If you're satisfied, you can just say close and load, click this button. And now the data will be saved in a new worksheet with the column names as, uh, as you need it. And it'll be saved as a table by default. If you want, you can always uh, remove the table uh, formatting, uh, but, or you can leave it on if you want. So that's, uh, so that's a simple example of how you can import a flat file into Excel and have Excel recognize the columns and the rows in your data. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching.